So all the rules that we've been going over and that you've learned in class, power rule, product rule, quotient rule, differentiating logs and exponents, chain rule, all of those are kind of shortcuts to what a derivative actually means. So the limit definition of the derivative is really the uh, true way that a derivative is calculated. Um, it is a little bit longer and tedious. But chances are you're going to have some sort of uh, test question about it, especially on the free response section. So the limit definition of the derivative can be presented in two ways. The most common way is that you take the f, the function, and evaluate it at some x plus h, where h is a small constant, minus f of x, over x plus h minus x, which ends up being just h. And you take the limit as h approaches 0. So graphically what this means, because remember, in finding the derivative, we're trying to find the slope of the tangent line. We have some point here, let's call this x, right here is f of x, and we're trying to find the slope at that point. So what we do is we pick a number a little bit to the right of that, in fact h to the right of that, and up here uh, we get f of x plus h, and we just take the slope between these two points. Now, finding the slope between two points is very simple. In fact, that's exactly what this is doing. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But if we want to get the tangent line right here at only one point, we need to move this point closer and closer and closer and closer to the point where they are just a single point, and that's where this limit as h approaches zero comes in. So evaluating this for a given function will get you the derivative and that's using the limit definition. The other way you could do that if you want um, the derivative at a specific point. This is for in general to find the derivative of a function. If you want it at a specific point though, you can use this formula. Limit as x approaches a, where a is the point, so if you want to find the derivative when x equals 2, then you would use 2 for a. You just do f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Now these formulas, like I said, are basically the exact same thing. This one just gives you a general derivative of a function, while this one gives you the derivative at a specific point. So evaluating these limits are going to ha are how you find the derivative using the limit definition.